Hello everyone, Elias5891 here with another Contain Module tutorial, or to be a little more precise this time, three module tutorials. Uh, we're going to cover three modules, all of which you can see here on the screen at the moment. We're covering Anagrams, Word Scramble, and Caesar Cipher. Uh, we're going to go through them one at a time, and I've intentionally uh, restarted this one enough times that I've got all three of them here on one side to look at. Uh, first up, anagrams. Uh, you'll notice these three up here are anagrams. Uh, if you're not familiar with what an anagram is, it's when you scramble the letters of a word to form another valid word. This module gives you a word and wants you to find an anagram of it. So it wants you to take the word cellar, C-E-L-L-A-R, scramble the letters, come up with another word. In this case, uh, recall, say. You punch in your descramble, and you're done. Um, there's four anagrams, there's a list of eight pools of letters which scramble, uh, which can lead to issues like this if you have multiple ones, where secure and rescue are anagrams of one another. So I know rescue is an answer here, S-C-U-E, secure is an answer here, C-U-R. Notice there's two E's in this one doesn't matter which E I hit, so long as I get the right letter in, I can hit the same one twice. Um, here's another one, seated. Uh, this one can be scrambled to be teased. And that is an anagram. Uh, now you'll notice, when the lights come back on, that unlike your standard module for anagrams, your little uh, light here that, indicate, that lights up when you're done with the module is in the top left corner more modules than not have it in the top right corner. Uh, so that's how you can distinguish it from this one, which is Word Scramble. Um, you don't have to worry too much about which one is which, though, because Word Scramble, uh, as you can tell by how similar they look, works almost the same way. Uh, the only difference is your initial letters do not form a word by themselves. Uh, with this one, uh, if memory serves me, there's approximately 30 words that it scrambles, uh, a good chunk of which relate to bombs, explosions, the game. Uh, in this case, uh, this scrambles to these things here on the side, the widgets. Uh, on the back side, we have this scramble, uh, which scrambles to person. Uh, this one is bursts. Uh, just like with anagrams, if you get two of the same letter, you can punch them in whichever order. Doesn't matter if you use the same button twice, just get the letters right. Uh, and that's how word scramble works. Uh, something to note about word scramble is there is one particular word that pops up that uh, is very tricky. It's the word sapper, or the answer is sapper, S-A-P-P-E-R. That technically does scramble or anagram to make papers. However, it does not accept papers as a correct answer. So if you can form the word papers, uh, which you can't with any of these, obviously, it's not the correct answer. But if you could, sapper is the answer it's actually looking for. You will get a strike for putting in papers. Uh, so that's anagram and word scramble. Uh, these two are a bundle together, so if you get one, you'll probably get the other. Uh, the other module we have here is Caesar Cipher. Uh, I'm going to pull up manual for this section. Um, Caesar Cipher, I put this one in here because it has a sort of a similar look. You've got letters, red letters in a big display, letters on buttons. Uh, notice, in contrast to anagram and word scramble, you have 12 letters for buttons and five letters in the display. The way Caesar Cipher works is first off we need edge work, so let's get that real quick. Uh, no batteries, well we might not need edge work then. Uh, indicators are lit TRN and off Bob. And serial number is W3, oops, W36IC2. 
So the manual page here for Caesar Cipher gives you uh, how you're going to calculate an offset. You're going to take that offset, add that to each letter, and by adding I mean just cycling through the alphabet, and punching in whatever you get after you've made that cipher shift, that offset. This does have a global override rule here at the bottom. In this case it is a parallel port and a lit NSA indicator. If you have both of those there's no offset. If there's no offset your answer is exactly what's on the display so that will save you some time you can just be like oh no offset punch in the same thing. Not the case on this one so let's go ahead and calculate what our offset is. I personally like to start at the bottom work my way up because I have a negative I like to hit that last so let's take a look. Uh, indicator with label CAR is present. We do not have that, so no no adjustment there. The last digit of the serial number is even. It is, it's a 2, so that's going to be a plus 1 to my offset. Number of batteries gives me a plus 1 per battery. Uh, I don't have any batteries this time, so that stays at 0. It doesn't add anything. And serial number contains a vowel. It does, it has an I, so that's a minus 1. Uh, and 1 minus 1 gives me 0. So even though I didn't have the global override rule, I did uh, get a nice situation where I have no offset. Since I have no offset, my answer is just going to be what's on my display. PSEMD, PSEMD, YXVMB, and I think I had a couple back here, LRWJI, DNW. Y, J. So, uh, let's do one more. Uh, we'll demonstrate strikes a little bit, and we will actually hopefully have a real cipher to do instead of a gimme. So we'll boot this back up. Another, ele another 11 modules. We can go ahead and clear this information about the last bomb. It's not going to apply anymore. And we'll go ahead and get that edge work first. We have two batteries this time in two holders, lit NSA, lit car, and we don't have a parallel port. It's the only port that it references. Serial number is IQ9VU1. It looks like IQ9VU1, yes. Uh, let's hit the anagram and the word scramble first. I, I don't really think of them as separate things. Um, this, you, you do have to know a couple uh, brand names, I guess you'd say. Like Kevlar, which is a type of vest that uh, is bullet resistant. Uh, you also might need to know the word uh, Semtex, S-E-M-T-E-X. Uh, I believe that's a type of... Uh, type of explosive. Not 100% sure, but I believe it's a type of explosive, which makes sense since we have a bomb here. Uh, teased anagrams to seated. Uh, and I didn't mention this last time, but each of these anagrams actually have three ways they can go. So I could put in seated. Let's clear it. I could also put in sedate. Each combination of letters can form three different words. So you'll have the word that's on the display, and then you get two actual answers that are possible. Uh, secure is recuse or rescue. Uh, this is an anagram. Uh, it's a proper noun, too, which is a, a little strange for these. It's Ottawa. Uh, shears becomes sh shares. Uh, let's get this one wrong. Strike clears the screen. Doesn't do anything super interesting, but I did want to... Oops. Oh, I put in the same thing. Well, that was silly. Uh, weapon, tamers becomes master, this is casing scrambled, let's get those out of the way, now let's hit the Caesar cipher, that's the more interesting one I think of uh, what we have here as far as uh, complexity. Do we have a parallel port and lit indicator so we can do the override rule? No. Is there a indicator with car present? Yes, that's a plus one. Last digit, oops, plus one. Last digit of the serial is even, false, so we don't do anything with that. Number of batteries, two, so we add another two. Serial number contains a vowel, it does, so we subtract one, and that gives us overall a plus two. 
So now we actually get to cipher to uh, offset things. Uh, a plus two means we're going to advance two letters in the alphabet on each of the letters we're given. Uh, depending on how comfortable the diffuser is doing this in his head, he may give this part to the expert. I may say, okay, I've got a Caesar cipher, letters are T-Y-Z-Q-O, Tango, Yankee, Zulu, Quebec, Oscar. I may just wait and have the expert give me the offset and do it myself. Either way is fine. Uh, but if I do give this to the expert, they're going to be like, okay, T, go forward two letters, T, U, V. From Y, uh, the alphabet does loop if you get to the end, so from Y, Z, A, from Z, A, B, from Q, R, S, oh, what are you doing? Silly keyboard. Let's try that again. V, A, B, Q, R, S, O, P, Q. So my answer would be Victor, Alpha, Bravo, Sierra, Quebec. Uh, this one up here, notice the offset's not going to change, obviously, since it's only edge work dependent. Uh, so plus two, I'll do this one uh, kind of on the fly or on the bomb. R, S, T, M, N, O, N, O, P, O, P, Q, E, F, G. Uh, and this one, uh, you could have a, a slight problem. So let's say I punch this in. Oh, I accidentally hit the I twice. Notice there's no clear button. So, because I have misclicked, like several modules, that's going to cost me. I'm going to have to take a strike here. It's going to trigger as soon as I hit that fifth letter. And since I already have two strikes, that is going to blow this up. Like so. So, uh, take your time with that one especially. Make sure you don't hit a button wrong. Uh, if your expert maybe makes an error in his offset, he may give you letters that do not appear since it does only have buttons for 12 of the letters. Because you're probably going to put in the letters as he says them or she says them, good chance you're going to get a strike, even if you get to one that's not there and you're like, oh, well, this is wrong. Well, if you've already started putting things in, you're going to get the strike for it anyway. Uh, but anyway, that's it for this one. Uh, that's Anagram, Word Scramble, and Caesar Cipher. Um... If you have any comments, questions, concerns, or suggestions, please leave them down below. Thank you for watching. As always, this has been Elias. Have a great one, and don't explode. Bye.